y'all. It's Blindside, and I'm back for another unboxing. I had to adjust the microphone. You know what I'm saying? But uh, before we get into this unboxing, we're going to look at it. Look at it. Look at the shirt. Oh, it's hot. Uh, yeah. This shirt's amazing. Just want everybody to know jugging is not a hobby. Or juggaloing is not a hobby. Yeah. I mean, either way would have sufficed. But yeah. Anyway, I'm hyped for the album. I'm trying to get the other shirt and shit. And, um, but anyway, that's off topic. Anyway, shout out to Discord, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitch, all that shit. Merch, eBay store. Um, but, uh, I got a package. We're gonna open this package. We're gonna attempt to open this package. Anyway, um, I got mixed feelings about this album. First, I gotta figure out how to fucking open this without tearing anything. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, oh jeez. Wait, is it? I don't know where anything is at the moment. Oh. Fuck me. This shit's hard to open. Alright. It's gonna be a minute. Yeah. Oh. That hurt. There we go, I got it. No, I don't. Let's go rip this fucker apart, yeah. God damn, they really package this thing. Ooh. Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. We're, we're safe. We're safe. Kind of. Oh. Got this thingy. Tells me my order. Uh, it's only telling me what I ordered. This time. Oh, Jesus. Interesting. Anyway. Alright, let's get to this fucking unboxing. Put my knife over there. Oh, Jesus. Oh man, do I have my thing on? Hold up, hold up. Alright. Let's do this. Gotta unravel it though. Alright, so the thing I'm unboxing today. Grand Music Product. Those who know, know. But anyway, look. Sticker. Get them all the fucking time. Is this even signed? Ah, uh, I see. I see. Okay. Anyway. So. The album I'm unboxing today is this. Hush's Skunk Works. That's what it is. That's the album cover. That's probably better if you see the signed version. Because it's not as reflection-y. Look, he signed it right down there. Or right down there. I can't remember what sign. And he even put little doodles on it. That's pretty cool. I like the doodles. I guess he's newly signed. I thought he was just like a thing like Jelly Roll did. You know, distribution deal. But I guess not. Um, this album, though. Um, now, if you know already, I did... I'm trying to open this at the moment. But if you know, I did... Um, Oh, wait, cool, this on the security tab. Thank God. Oh, Jesus, thank God. The thing is a pain in my fucking ass. Anyway, um, he, uh, did a EP with Attack 9, which I unboxed. I thought it was going to be digitally only, but they did a lip cover, which was dope. Um, that was, you know, uh, EDM kind of rap album if you want to call it that for lack of better words um it's dope i liked it now this album is all over the fucking place i'm gonna say that but first of all here's a shirt i forgot to show that I can't there that's a shirt bam little bunny boy or yeah bunny boy question mark 
Uh, it's a white shirt, so I think that's how I know he signed. You know, because the dude's a white shirts. Because when Jelly Roll had his, this was some white. It was uh, black. That's either a bunny boy or a bunny girl. I'm assuming it's a bunny boy, but you know what happens when you assume. Um. Anyway, so the album has 19 tracks, if you count the pre-order track. Um, I'm going to say this right now. I listened to the album last night uh, when it dropped because I got this today. Um, and uh, um, pre-order track I really like. I like the pre-order track, which is part one. It's called, because uh, I got part two on here. This Go Away Please Part Two is on here. And it's basically the same song. But the pre-order ones go away, please, part one. And, uh, or one, I guess. And, uh, this one, you change it because it's like heavy guitar, shit, you know? And, uh, this one has that, but it also takes breaks and stuff with the wub wub and shit, you know, the EDM shit. Uh, there's a lot of those songs on here. There's some rap songs on here. There's some, there's a lot of genres on here, really, you know? does actually quite a bit i like i i appreciate his experimentation um there's the front uh see you can see all the albums or all the albums wow all the songs bam it's a lot um appreciate the quantity of songs and uh you know you heard the singles you know they're a little different too from each other which is dope uh there's features on here there's jerry robinson future which i like that song a song with Jerry Robinson's all right. I was wondering to see how they'd sound together because you know, uh, they sound you know, they sound like they'd go good with each other, you know. Uh, then going with Tech Nine and X Rated is dope. Uh, mostly though, this is a solo album, so that's kind of cool. I like that, you know. At times, you know, when he's uh, you know, singing and shit, kind of reminds me of the dude, the original dude from Three Days Grace, kind of for me. I'm like, whoa. You know, because he kind of sounds like him. And, uh, you know, he can rap, he can sing, you know, got the wub wub and shit. But, uh, you know, it's a, in all honesty, I, I give it, an, it's an average, you know, it's like five, in my opinion. Maybe four. I wasn't really feeling it. Uh, not that it's a bad album. It's just not fully my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe if I re-listen to it, it'll grow on me. But, um. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm glad I supported him, though, you know. Um, here's the actual booklet. You can see inside, the school artwork, I bet. Yeah, I like the artwork. I like the theme, like the, you know, the cool look of everything. And, uh, oh, he did the thank yous. This book is very small. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I'd go pick it up if you like Hush. Or if you like the singles that you heard and shit, you know, I'd, I'd recommend picking it up. You know? And I have it, you know, if you're a collector like me, especially strange music shit, you should definitely uh, pick it out. Um, so I guess, yeah, he signed on a main label, unlike Above Waves, so they were signed on a strange main label, where the fuck it's called. Uh, I don't know what happened to them either. Like, I don't know if they're still signed or not. They went independent. I don't know, but they were dope. I liked them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this will grow on me, like I said. You know, maybe this is a grower, not a shower. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, but uh, for me, anyway, you might like it. No. Um, so I'll put that out there. Um, you know, like, I'm going to have to re-listen to it. and see. Look, transformation. Bam, outside. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anyway. I guess uh, I'm going to end it with that. Jesus Christ, nine minutes? How'd I go nine minutes? Anyway, at the front. Jesus, that lagged. Back. Uh, I hope it grows on me because I want to like this album. But, uh, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes, just don't, you know, click with you at first. Bam. But yeah, anyway, got more shit coming. I'll try and get that Shaggy Two Dope uh, single and shirt again. Another one. And the album, obviously. 
Uh, I don't know if that's going to be digitally only or not. I don't fucking know anymore. Or if it's at the show, you can get the album. I don't know. But that being said, I'm out this bitch. And to, oh, I'm also going to get the X-rated album. Uh, anyway, I think Jerry Robinson got Swan coming out too. I'm pretty sure because he's already released like three singles. So I'm assuming it's coming out soon. Same with um, uh, Joey Cool. He's got another one coming out. He already released this shit, man. Which is dope. Uh, and it's pretty cool. And uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Tag 9. Got his new album coming out. But anyway, yeah. I'm out this bitch. Until next time.